welcome to to enable help and uh, in the next series of uh, videos we're going to explain to you how to uh, start an organization and um, and generally to manage the organization and um, specifically in in this video i'm going to show the different ways of of uh, registering an organization and the two types of organization on the platform is there's, there's obviously non-profits like cost music development academy that um, use us to run their program so if you're a non-profit you can after you've logged in, you can go to my organizations and um, you can see here this demo uses join Casterbridge, but you've got an uh, option to create an organization and this doesn't create an organization as such. It, it sends us an email and asks, uh, and asks us to create an organization on your behalf. So if you want to create an organization, you, you select the create organization link and you type the name of the organization that you want. So it, uh, it could be an, an, an after school, let's just change this like that, after school maths program. Uh, if that was the name of the organization, that's what you'd give me the name as. And then you would type, uh, give me a short description about what your organization does. And then you hit on the register button. And what that in fact does will, will send off an email to me to say, please, well, I create this organization and I know uh, who you are uh, because uh, this is obviously coming from demo user, in which case, if you've logged in, it'll come from you. And we can create that organization and we'll make you the administrator of that account. So to give you an idea, if you apply, uh, if you register on the platform and you join the platform, uh, you generally are joined as a general user. And a general user doesn't have much administration functionality. Yeah, so this is an idea of the level of administrative functionality that a general user has. If I show you what uh, a, an administrator has, and this is using, uh, I'm the administrator for Casterbridge and for the platform. If I click on my menu, you can see there's a significantly, uh, there's a, a huge amount of functionality that is not available to a general user. And just to take you through that functionality, it's uh, obviously the logout and leave learning are options for all users, but you can create events, you can do event attendance. Um, if this forums has got to do with the creation of uh, educational content. The organizations, this is where you would manage your organization. And I can um, show you a bit about that. Email SMS means you can SMS and send emails to the members of your organization. And then there's a whole reporting functionality where there's a, a huge number of reports available to you. Uh, print ID cards if you've got the functionality. There's a maintenance menu. Uh, this is where you can create learning areas for your organization. So if you uh, focus on a specific thing, for instance, uh, food sustainability, you could create a, a whole food sustainability uh, learning uh, area, which you could then make available to all users on the platform or to just users who are members of your organization. And this is where you create the questionnaires that relate to the organizations. And then, of course, this is uh, for a super user has got access to uh, the users so they can, we can uh, help reset passwords and things like that. This is to set it up as a learning center. And the academic hubs and is something everybody, uh, academic results, everyone's got access to. And um, a file manager is, is, uh, relates back to uh, the creation of content on the platform. So there's a significant amount of functionality that is available to an administrator. Um, and you'll know you're an administrator if when you select this menu, you have more than what you see in, in this video. So that, so that is the first way to create an organization. And um, the, obviously, there's a, the simpler way or the equally simple way is to send us an email at info at to enable.org and to ask us to do that. And that's what we've been advising schools to do so schools that wish to use uh, this application can then um, we can create an organization for a school so for instance I can give you an example of this organization this is the organization screen uh, for Casterbridge Music Development Academy and uh, you can see all the users and their statuses that are members of Casterbridge Music Academy when they joined and um, what we can do from a uh, a music perspective is to is to uh, arrange them into bands and into groups. So these are all bands that we're developing, and and who the members of those bands are. And um, so this functionality is available to you as a school. And 
what we can do is, is if you're a, a, a school administrator and, and wish to have this functionality for your school, the simplest thing to do is to send us the, your school uh, name and who you are and we will then obviously contact you and just to verify that and then we can create uh, an organization for a school and I'll show you how simple it is uh, just so you understand this, this, is, this is not a, a major uh, train smash. Um, I would select education institutions and on the educational institutions I'm going to just type, uh, let's just see if I type, see what schools come up with the word ELLO in it, because I'm sure there are going to be many. Um, so we could, for instance, select uh, Montebello Primary School. So if you were Montebello Primary School and you wanted to become, you, you would like us to uh, create you as an organization, we literally hit that button, create organization, and we will then add you as the administrator and immediately you would then have uh, access to the organization functionality. Uh, and that would include managing all uh, your, the, your members and specifically uh, students who come to your school and teachers who come to your school. And uh, you can set up terms and conditions. So Castle Bridge Music Development Academy has specific terms and conditions. So if somebody joins our, our organization, they agree to terms and conditions. Um, it's slightly different in joining a school, but but uh, users or students who join your school will be required to to agree to the terms and conditions of your school. So so we provide quite a bit of functionality uh, in the space for you. Obviously, one of the things you can notice here is we've got an SMS balance because we can send SMSs to to um, uh, all our members, um, and that is used for creating events and generally communicating with them. So. Just to recapping, the simplest thing is to go to organizations once you've logged in. So it'll actually be my organizations. So on your home screen, you go my organizations and uh, you hit the create button and send us a message and we'll contact you and create it. Uh, the other thing is just to send us an email and then we'll go through the process of creating, of creating that organization for you. And I hope that has helped uh, give you some idea of how organizations are set up and, and a, a brief amount about what is available to an organization administrator. Uh, please uh, watch the next video for more information about how to set up and join organizations.